Here is how to do voice tracking on the same computer where you have Playout 1 installed and when Playout 1 is running, feeding your stream to the transmitter or to the internet. To do this, you have to have two sound cards on the computer, one that's delivering the stream and another that can play your work back to you through your earphone or desktop uh, speakers. If you don't have two cards, then you can use the virtual audio card software, which works just as well. So, Playout 1 is running. My active playlist for today is showing here on the screen, and I want to voice track tomorrow at 11 a.m. Right-click anywhere in the Active Playlist window and select Open Playlist Creator. Then, at the top of that screen, click the little calendar and select Find a Playlist. I want a playlist for the 20th and I want the 11 a.m. playlist on the 20th. I select it and click OK. And that playlist loads. Now I can record my voice tracks. I will select the spinners and I'm going to do an intro for the spinners. Click it, recording. I'm saying something really wonderful about the spinners and I started the Marty Stewart record and now I've saved the voice track. And yes, I want to commit that to the playlist. And there you go. To voice track another, I'm going to intro the Eagles, select the Eagles, click the microphone, say something wonderful about the Eagles. You see it recording down at the bottom of the screen down there. Eagles are great, the Eagles are great, and we all miss good old Glenn Fry. And I start the Eagles song with the second click of the microphone, and I commit it by clicking the third time. Do you want to commit the voice track to the playlist? Yes, I do. And my Eagles voice track has been inserted into the playlist. When I'm finished, I click and save that playlist and put her away. And tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, my finished hour will broadcast as I want it to do.